The night before a track meet, I usually have a plate of pasta and a glass and a half of wine, or two, depends on the, the mood. <laughs> Salmon, some pasta, and usually some veggies, like broccoli or something. I do pasta the night before. I don't like it on game day. What I eat for dinner the night before a big game or a big competition, to be honest, it varies. Uh, we compete all across the world and we usually don't have access to like the same thing every every time. My plate kind of consists of the same thing. It's usually like a third veggies, a third carbs, and a third protein so that we can uh, we can compete at the best of our abilities the next day. Eating a steak. I'm a steak boy. Steak me down. I usually eat uh, pasta for dinner. I'm a very much a tomato sauce kind of girl or a carbonara. But pasta is always my go-to before a show. We don't always get to choose exactly what we want to eat because when you play international matches, a lot of times you're eating at a hotel or possibly in an Olympic village. But ideally, um, I like to have some good carbs in there, like a pasta. And then normally I'll do something a little bit more simple, like a chicken, so like white meat, although I love fish. I am a big veggie girl, so I'll supply a good amount of veggies on the side as well, so I'm feeling ready and fueled for game day. Yeah, and I'll eat basically the same thing. <laughs> I typically have some steak, some red meat, and some fruit. That's just about the meal that I have almost every single day, every single meal. I eat pretty much whatever the <laughs> venue hotel has for me. I definitely try to get in like, you know, classic or carb, a vegetable, a protein. I, actually, I don't really get that many vegetables I like to carb up. Definitely it's pasta, bread, a roll with some butter, but I kind of, whatever's available to me, I don't have anything that I have to eat. To be completely honest, I don't have a set routine for dinner before races. Typically, I'm in a foreign country, so I'll go to a restaurant that seems like a safe choice. I am a big believer in the carb loading before racing, but definitely can't go too hard because you don't want to be sick the next day. Usually for supper, eat a lot of chicken and broccoli. I found that eating portion sizes before an event actually is not so good for me because then I end up getting shaky halfway through the round. So usually on during practice days and all that kind of stuff, I stay to my routine. But if I know I'm competing the next day, I want to eat a lot of carbs. I would just like load up on carbs. That varies depending on where we're at. So if we are at a big tournament that has like a calf, usually some kind of meat because I'm a meat girl, a veggie to just keep my body happy because when you travel, you're your body's not always happy <laughs> and you feel kind of just like full and bloated and just not nice, so. I like to have like a lot of pasta and some kind of protein, um, usually probably chicken, but I keep it pretty basic the night before and then the day of we always have Try to have breakfast for yeah. our pregame, so I always have like five pancakes. I kind of feel like I switch it up a lot. I do try to make sure we get our carbohydrates in. I love to have pad thai, but that's not always an option when we're on tour. I try to carb load a lot, get some good proteins. I'll get a pasta or a burger or steak, something that's uh, comforting, not too heavy, but it's gonna give me some good energy. Cucumber and mozz salad with uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, that always slaps. And then, yeah, I need some protein and carbs. Any type of pasta. I just like rigatoni with just some uh, ground beef. And then, you know, you can put pesto, red sauce, no dessert the night before, uh, but definitely after a victory, yeah, some dessert for sure. Honestly, nothing heavy, just simple carbs. I'm also really used to having at home and I don't like to switch things up, especially before a big race. And it also depends on what there is there to eat, but something familiar that I know I like, that my stomach likes, and just, it's not like going to be waking up with surprises in the morning, because it's a new thing. Well, we're out, you know, in the world, so a lot of times it varies what is actually served, but I really try to make sure it's a good portion of carbs. You know, some sports, it's good to have like a pasta night or, you know, something heavy, but I think lighter on the lighter side a lot of protein and veggies uh, mostly just to next day i think the lighter you feel the easier it feels it can vary because i don't like having the same exact thing all the time and sometimes nerves can get the best of you so what you're used to eating isn't necessarily what you want my favorite go-to though is some pasta with a bunch of veggies and maybe a little bit of pesto or some sort of sauce and tofu <laughs> i do like to have usually a kind of a pasta dish just to make sure i have enough um energy especially if it's like a morning game and i don't want to eat too much um before the game starts so i like to try to have like some type of pasta dish beforehand I usually keep it pretty simple. It's probably some variation of chicken and rice. Usually we're traveling to 
international competition, so I try to not explore too much with the local cuisine until after I compete. My favorite thing is to have my parents make me spaghetti and meatballs in their kitchen at their Airbnb.